was our first time getting to awesome. see you at least pitching a game. Just what are you working with? What's your pitch mix? Uh, mainly just fastball slider change. So kind of those three. Your, your fastball has a, a ton of arm side movement. Is that like a specific grip or is that just how you throw? No. Um, unlike some of the guys on our staff, I just grip it like a regular four seam. It's mainly just arm slot and then wrist positioning. It's just the difference. How hard is that to command sometimes? Like, does it get a little bit away from you? Yeah, on days, usually I find out in the first inning um, how much it's moving, how much I have to compensate, where to throw it in the zone. Um, Coach Andrew's done a great job in terms of just catcher positioning to help with that. So it's usually first inning. Once I get that, I'm settled. How did you think your stuff played on Saturday? It was good. First inning was a bit rough. I think it was like 27, 28 pitches. Um, got the nerves out then, and then after that, I felt like really until the fourth, I didn't really have any issues. What were some of those nerves that you went into that game with? Surprisingly, bullpen, I felt completely fine. It wasn't until I kind of got on the mound where I started to feel it. Um, and just first two pitches went really well. My issue was I'd get up 0-2 and then kind of just lose it from there. So ensuring that I don't get into deeper counts in the future would probably be the main target. You guys, as a team, put eight or nine true freshmen out there. I think it was eight. You guys all performed really well. Just we'll talk about that camaraderie that you guys have as a, as a freshman group. No, definitely. Um, I feel like we kind of all understand that we're going to pitch this year um, and we're put in, being put in the positions that we have to compete. And I think we did that well. And we're all united in terms of just winning games. What was it like having Turner come in after you, you two Canadians going, going yeah. together? I, I've known Turner for a while now. I think since 2018, 2019 is when we first got to play with each other. So it was interesting to see kind of that Canadian combo. And uh, we did that with Team Canada, I think, in one game. So seeing that happen in Division One is really cool. You guys, for your co collegiate recruitments, you guys talk about coming to Oregon together and what that could be like? Yeah, so I committed prior to him. I committed, I believe, my sophomore year. He committed his junior or senior. Um, and I remember bringing up to him when we were on Team Canada because that's when he was considering coming here and he was talking to Coach Martyr. Um, and I kind of pushed him towards it because our coaching staff is really good. Playing here is probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, and I feel like he's seen it pay off. You guys have another... Canadian on the team and Diodati. Do you guys have like a little like three musketeer? No pun intended from playing Xavier, but yeah, a bit. Um, I never really got the no deal until I got here. Like I never met him. No, he played on Team Canada. Um, went to Alabama, of course, for his freshman and sophomore years. Um, and kind of getting to know him has been really interesting. Seeing Canadian with college experience has definitely helped. Where are you looking to improve upon heading into UCSB, wherever you guys may play? Uh, for me, I think it's just um, getting up in the counts like I was and then just having that out pitch and getting those outs instead of getting the 3-2, two, 2-2 two, two counts and kind of falling behind. So I think just finishing batters and four pitches around that would probably lower the pitch count and let me go longer. With, with how much your fastball moves arm side, do you have, uh, I guess, do you have trouble in trying to keep it high in the zone and trying to keep it you know, above the hitter's like chest line and trying to get him to swing over it? Sometimes, uh, in terms of like last game where it was moving a decent amount, lowering the zone usually works better. Um, if it's not moving as much, um, upper up in the zone really helps. That's at least where I had success with Team Canada and pitching at some minor leaguers uh, my senior year. So going into the series and future, we'll see. How much does that Team Canada experience help you for this big time level of college baseball here in the Pac-12? No, definitely. Um, I mean, with Team Canada, I got the pitch against the U.S., which I mean, their roster at that time, I mean, their uh, one-hole hitter, two-hole hitter, and three-hole hitter were basically, that was the draft order of last year. Um, so, I mean, they had a very competitive lineup, probably one of the best lineups I've ever pitched against besides here. Um, so having that experience and then plus pitching against those minor league guys out of the facilities um, is an experience. So definitely helps. What Oregon hitter do you hate going against in practice? Uh, this is a popular one, actually, amongst the pitching staff. Riku. Um, he, he doesn't have – he has the power, but, I mean, you can – for example, like during one of the scrimmages, I think I painted like a 94-mile-an-hour fastball on the outside corner. He just poked it in the left field, and I was like, I can't really do anything about that. Like, he just beat me. And, I mean, that's what he does. You saw that during the series. And um, 
he's been a great addition. When he goes down into that catcher's crouch with two strikes, do you think that can get into a pitcher's head? Like, why does why do you think he does that? I think it's honestly like I don't really have an explanation for it. I mean, when I first saw him do it when I was on the mound, I was like, I've never seen that out of probably anyone I've ever pitched against. So it's kind of that factor, like surprising the pitcher. Um, and I mean, it's been effective. Um, it also messes with your eyes a bit in terms of the zone because you can't really determine what his zone's gonna be when he's that low. So I think that's another pretty good thing with that.